So the first one is the Book of Sins. And the Book of Sin is a typological investigation that focuses in the spaces that are ignored by the discipline normally because they, are, uh, because they have this questionable or straight bad reputation that is because they are linked with the seven deathly sins. So I have done these investigations through or with uh, Columbia University and Sydney UTS with Advanced Studios. And this one that I'm going to show is uh, last. And for last, we went to Barcelona to study the historical red district of Barcelona. And the students first have to infiltrate during a week the spaces for last, the architecture for last in Barcelona, which means the love hotels, the leather bars, the dark rooms, in order to document all these spaces. So it was not only for fun or anything like that. They really have to draw the spaces and do architectural uh, documents in terms, of, uh, in terms of those. They all, or mostly all, use uh, hidden cameras and microphones and construct fake characters in order to infiltrate in these spaces as well. Uh, then they will make critical modifications to existing spaces and design in order to open conversations. So it's, it's uh, these were investigation as all of my work that is based in replica and the rejection of, original, or of originality. Um, so you have. This is uh, Sloth, and Sloth uh, was a, a studio that was called Barcelona, um, Barcelona and the party scene. As you know, after a big crisis, there is a there is a flourishing of the party scene. You can think about. Berlin in the 20s or the 30s, or you can think about New York in the 70s as well, and you can definitely think about Barcelona after the 2008, the, par the party went absolutely crazy. So the members of this investigation, the participants had to immerse themselves in the party team in Barcelona for a week. Uh, they have to find the secret spaces, the activities that were happening there, always with, again, like uh, hidden cameras, et cetera, et cetera. They had to basically go partying for a week until the morning, uh, which is not easy, let me, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> like the fifth day, they were totally destroyed, but like working a lot anyway, I have to say. So they look for concert venues and after hours, and, uh, and well, I mean, it's, like a, like a big story. But one of the things that uh, all these studios had in common as well is that the members work as an intelligent unit and in an horizontal manner they will decide also how they were going to represent uh, the investigation uh, and they will teach each other to do so and they will also choose how to des uh, describe and discuss their work together as a single unit. And this is, for example, it was a party because it was, uh, the topic was a party, so there was a lot of tequila. But also there was this uh, round table that was designed by the students as well with animations and so, and they will uh, horizontally as well uh, talk about their work um, during this studio. Now I'm preparing this uh, next uh, scene that is Roth in Barcelona in a moment where uh, the streets had been literally on fire. Uh, um, because of political repression and police brutality and, you know, so it's, uh, it's been really interesting to start infiltrating and researching about where are the spaces of the, the political groups that are involved in these movements on one side or the other so that we can do something about that and have a reflection in terms of this, uh, uh, design. For example, this is a trend, the trend as a design object has a very long history as well. This project is called uh, s uh, Tokyo Rooms, let's say, and uh, it's, uh, it takes inspiration from uh, a war from Sophie Cole, and this is an in independent investigation that I did where I went to Tokyo and totally randomly started following up uh, salary men and women until they will get into a love hotel, and in the process I will discover this beauty, uh, this. Uh, like postmodern and Polish beauty of these uh, of these hotels, and I'm going to show you just some images that I took, and these were have been exhibited in the Lisbon the last Lisbon Triennial. It comes with a little fiction as well, as you can see here. 
This is the theater of estrangement. The theater, the theater of estrangement is another investigation that had to do with desire uh, that I've been doing through uh, advanced studios in Columbia University, in Sydney UTS, and through the MIT. The one that I'm going to show now uh, was done in Barcelona. So it was called Barcelona and the Theater of Estrangement, and it was done at the MIT. And the participants uh, have to become members of the Epic Architecture uh, Theater Company. And you will see that at the end, there's like this big play, like a real theater play taking place. So the one thing that they had to do is they had to, again, immerse themselves in Barcelona. We talk with the underground artistic groups, with politicians, with artists, with like people that had to do with uh, all sorts of uh, activities in the city. The students had to choose the most urgent issues that had to do with the city. And in that case were the narco floods, the tourist apartments, uh, the protests that were absolutely wild at that point as well. And then through uh, the selection of some theater design from the avant-garde, from the 70s, from the 20s, like, I don't know, from Rossi to Archie Zoom, et cetera, they will make critical modifications to these existing designs. They will place them on site so that they would open the discussion in the universities, but also uh, in, in Barcelona, let's say. And finally, well, no, you have, can see some images here. And um, finally, there was uh, this the real theater play with four chapters where, of course, all the projects would be uh, explained and all the technologies, that the, the inventions that the students did would be explained, but also it was a, a straight exercise of creative writing. And then lastly, uh, launching Epic Press, part of uh, Epic Architecture, it's, uh, I would like to present strategies for an architecture of desire. That is the piece that is in the fulfilled beautiful exhibition. And it's just a set of cards that would, again, rejecting originality. Maybe you, you, can, you can identify what is the original. Uh, they would give you some uh, tricks, let's say, or some rules in order to make your design a little unpolished, a little dirty, or absolutely imperfect. That is desirable again. Thank you. You know, I, I, there's a lot of really...